Here is a video that was inspired by me watching another video where someone built a stair stringer that looks something like this when they could have used a 2x14. And I'm guessing that just maybe they didn't think they could use it for a stairway with longer steps. And in our example here, we have an 18 inch long tread and a seven and a half inch tall riser. And if we use a two by 14, we're going to be fine. We're going to have six and a half inches here and usually five and a half inches is sufficient. However, if we use a two by 12, that is not going to be the case. We're only going to have four and a half inches. And I'm not about to suggest that you cannot use a 2x12 for something like this. However, you will need to provide structural supports, something underneath the stringer to prevent it from moving. Now let's take a look at this one here and one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of it. And that would be that there are more parts in here that could create problems. For example, over here we have a solid piece of lumber. Or over here we might have about five or six pieces trying to create a solid piece of lumber. And we will be using long bolts or all threads to connect these pieces together. And those materials can usually be found at your local hardware or lumber yard. And another concern of mine with this would be that if somehow these boards were to start spreading apart to where the bolt would no longer be connecting them together, which of course would be the reason why you're going to want to use a larger washer, a square washer instead of a round washer. And you could always use a square washer over here if you think it's going to work better. And if you don't like the idea of countersinking these bolts into the stringers, you might be able to notch the tread somehow to where they will be able to cover up the bolts. And depending upon your design, you might need to countersink the bottom bolts also. So another thing to think about along with whether or not you need to countersink the lower bolt here, especially if the stringers are going to be sitting on top of a flat surface like a concrete slab or a wood framed floor. Definitely another thing to think about when you are building your stringers. And you can always use building hardware like framing anchors or straps if you're looking for a little more structural support along with using two bolts instead of one and keep in mind that the two bolts or one bolt and one framing anchor one bolt and one strap can prevent these boards from twisting for example if i just use this bolt here and create a center point then this board here could actually move to one side either the left or the right where that's not going to happen if I use the two bolts or one bolt and a framing anchor. And it might not be a bad idea to use some type of adhesive in between all of the joints and allow that adhesive to actually dry before building your stairway. Another lesson I learned in my career, and I don't know what the maximum length would be on a stair step using this type of a design. So if you're going to create longer steps, you might consider checking with a structural engineer who might even be able to provide you with a different design, something that might work even better.